Zero Waste Regenerative Community Building. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 65. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 65, covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the week of May 19th, 2014. As always, if you'd like more details, uh, complete links to all the open source content, more pictures, more specifics in general, please visit our written blog and if you'd like to receive an email update every time one of these updates is posted, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the satellite and pioneer members, finished the indigo ring and all the linguistics section for the English subject molecule. You can see expanding in the background here. We also research and add another 20% of links from our math page to the open source and free shared Khan Academy education program for teaching it all. This brings us to 40% completion there. And we finished creation of our free online education resource guide web page covering all the best free online education resources we've found. Behind the scenes, we finished the spring lesson plan and 30% of the lesson plan with the core theme of happiness also. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished adding sitting areas, trees, and other external accents to the 3D Aquapini and Wallapini footprint. Next will be final renders. We also finished the professional planting plans for the 18 hoop houses we'll be starting with. You can see this picture on the blog and enlargeable versions of each of these on the large scale gardening page. On top of this, we finished adding the diversity details to the organic corn section of the Large Scale Gardening page that now offers 36 different varieties of corn from around the world, eight beautifully featured, and complete sourcing details for all of them. Behind the scenes, we've also finished our Large Scale Soil Amendment Strategy details for land preparation in areas with poor soil, and we're now starting to put the web page together to open source share this immense amount of information pulled together by our botanist and horticulturist. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber, if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Housing began putting together the Earth Bag Home Heating and Cooling page. Thus far, we're about 15% done with that. We also began thoroughly evaluating our options comparing tank water heaters to tankless 
water heaters for the community showers. Our thermal engineer is also looking into solar assisted water heaters, evaluating lead qualifications, and creating an Excel spreadsheet to compare all the options. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, James Nance of P2S Engineering, working in conjunction with the core team working on the Earthbag Village, expanded the water heater research and evaluation we'd planned for the duplicable city center. You can see the water heaters we're looking at here. Uh, and Daku finished the natural pool transition point door engineering calculations needed for the hinges. And Carl Harris finished up correcting the windows for the north view elevation drawings. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working on the highest good society component completely updated the details of all our consensus pages including the consensus as a core value page, consensus for groups of 200 plus page, details on consensus training, and where we are now in our consensus process page. When we talk about zero waste regenerative community building, what one community means is building communities, building teacher demonstration villages and hubs, cities that give more than they take. The technology exists right now to live in a way that is regenerative for the planet, it's self-sufficient, and it's sustainable. This is what we're here to create. Our nonprofit is purposed to design and free share the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources, everything that is necessary to build completely self-sufficient and self-sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs all over the world to teach more and more people how to also build self-sufficient teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. It's an idea that's purposed to be self-replicating, a solution model that creates additional solution-creating models. To make it happen, it just takes people, it just takes time, it just takes work. And so we are being the change that we wish to see in the world, and we are creating this right now. Regenerative communities, villages, cities, and hubs zero waste living environments that actually take waste and repurpose it more waste than they create so really negative waste communities villages cities and hubs are completely possible and it's possible to do this in a way that provides a lifestyle a a an experience of living that is far superior in most people's opinion than what people are living in right now we can create this, we can share this. And one community believes that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and, and demonstrate it as attractive enough, and this is why we have a holistic approach. This is our highest good for all philosophy, our highest good of all mentality and consciousness to create for the benefit of all of humanity something that the vast majority of the human populace will see as beneficial. We believe that if we do that, if we do that, make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, this idea will spread on its own and can permanently and positively transform this planet for everyone and everything living here. This is what we're up to. 
So this is our shout out. We're calling out to the makers. We're calling out to the creators. We're calling out to the connectors. We're calling calling out to the architects and engineers of the future, to the people that want to leave a legacy, to the people that know that we have a choice in how we create our future, to the people that want to be a part of creating history, for the people that see this as a worthwhile and um, noble endeavor. And for people that think that what it is that we're creating is fun. If this sounds fun to you, if this is something that you want to do, if this is something that you think participating in is a worthwhile uh, investment of time and energy, we've got the team, we've got the direction, we've got the clear path, and we are walking that path. And so we invite you to join us and get involved in what it is that we're creating. Participate in the way that works best for you. History is happening right now. And I'm not just talking about our project, it's happening. Everything, every decision that every single one of us makes is influencing the future. We're either doing something to make a difference or we're not. But we are having an effect. And so, one community is here to provide highest good of all uh, suite of options. A diversity of ways for people to participate. And that ranges from individual application to the complete teacher demonstration hubs that we talk about all the time or just participating through social networks we are on all of the different social networks out there we're on LinkedIn we're on Twitter we're on reddit we're on Pinterest we're on tumblr we are on all the different social media networks because we want people to be able to share and access and follow our progress but to share and access the information they need in the way that works best and so, and really, you know, what we're creating, the next huge step for our project is getting the property off the market. And that really only requires one person. It could be the one person that wants to invest in us, and there are literally thousands of people that invest millions of dollars in projects far less broad and detailed in scope than ours is. Tens of thousands of people on this planet, uh, if they knew that we existed, would be very excited to invest in what it is that we're creating because we are literally covering all aspects of a sustainable civilization. And to our knowledge, there is nobody else on this planet, there is no other organization addressing this in the way that we are addressing it. Open sourcing and free sharing the blueprints, tools, tutorials, putting in the extra time and energy necessary to project launch blueprint, to create blueprints that launch additional projects Everything that we're creating designed so that it can be duplicated and adapted and modified to fit the individual needs of others. So that other groups and individuals can take it and create new projects, better versions of one community. We don't believe that our way is the best way or the only way. We believe it's a way and we're just designing it so that other people can make it even better. We're putting everything out as quickly as we create it, which is what these weekly updates are all about. So... It really only takes one person. It could be that one person that specifically wants to fund us. It could be that one person that's an or, uh, part of an organization that wants to donate to our nonprofit and make all this happen. Or it could be that one person that just shares this with the right people. And so we are ridiculously grateful for everybody that follows our project. We're ridiculously grateful for everybody that sends us emails, comments, uh, even the critiques and criticisms because every single email that we get gets integrated in the website in some way. We read every email we get and we do everything we can to integrate those ideas and to keep making it better, to keep growing it because this is our philosophy and our approach to growing the global collaborative and creating a bigger and better archive of information that more and more people can use and access in the way that works best for them. So. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for sharing everything that it is that we're creating. Thank you to the donors, the small donors that donate even $5 or $10. Or we have some people that are donating uh, $100. And, uh, and that, that means so much to our project because we are a group of 100% unpaid volunteers. Everybody that's doing this is doing it for altruistic reasons because we know that we are the change that we are waiting for. And we are capable of creating the future that we want. And so we're doing it right now. So, as always, thanks for following our progress. And uh, if you would like to receive a weekly update, uh, email every time one of these updates comes out. If you'd like to be added to our newsletter list, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com or subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you'll get notices that way as well. So, thanks, and until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.